Hello. 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 Okay. Now it's clear, Hello. right? Hello. Okay. Okay. So, guys, welcome back, everyone, to another stream. Hope you guys can hear me. So, today we'll be making this uh, tunnel okay this tunnel and this lights and this small rock and this wooden thing whatever it is okay so welcome back everyone to another stream back everyone to another stream so i'm gonna move this picture to the side So and uh, this thumbnail is only for uh, reference, okay? 
I don't expect the same results in the final so let's do this I'm gonna create a box okay I'll draw this box here like this and change the material this will be our tunnel our shape okay maybe a little bit height and width and then going to convert this one to a table poly and delete these polygons I don't need this okay so like this we will be creating a single mesh for the tunnel okay like uh, i'll show you we'll create a whole uh, cylindrical type mesh then we'll duplicate inside unreal engine so that's the plan i'm going to save this as a copy guys don't forget to like share and subscribe Okay, and I will move this to here a little bit. And then I'm going to select these two edges. <coughs> and before that, we need to increase the length. This maybe, and I will select these edges, and we will chamfer it. Okay, like this maybe uh, with a few more segments. Okay. Then we need to change a little bit shape. Set this face and this a scale like this okay a little bit and we will save for it one more time like this we don't need these two edges okay and we need to increase the height a little bit And we need to chamfer these two edges also. So I'm going to select these two, then chamfer it. We don't need this much, so I'm going to reduce it. okay like this you can and i'm planning to paint the vertex okay so anyway this will be our mining tunnel and i will add extra two segments in the center maybe three So we can create some random types like this. Maybe two more segments. 
Shivam, welcome to stream, bro. Thanks for joining the stream. Okay, then I will. Some random. Okay, wave like thing. You can make whatever you want. We should move these to the sides, like okay. So, actually, we need to flip these uh, faces because we are focusing only on the interior. See, I'll show you. See the difference. We need to flip this selection. I'm going to select everything. Before that, we need to <coughs> save these copies for a backup. Okay, then select everything. Then come here, see this flip thing. Just click it. Okay. No, it's fine. Okay. No need, sorry, we need to do some bending. Okay. Then we need to increase the size. So, okay, we can. Increase or decrease since I'm really in general, right? So, not anyway, this will be our default size. Now, I'm going to add extra segments in the center. Uh, maybe. Twenty. Okay. Then maybe I'm going to select all these edges, and we will add five extra. Then I'm going to <coughs> reset the pivot. here in the center then I'm gonna add this bend uh, modifier and can bend it okay in the my direction or X direction sorry my direction and we can change the angle mm. and okay and we're going to add this symmetry in my direction and flip it We can rotate. You need to turn this off. Sorry, roll this off. Maybe we should increase the. Hold on, I think we don't need to bend now. We'll increase the length a little bit. 
then we will then we can bend it okay struck here yeah, instead of pin why don't you use if d modifier yeah i can use that also we'll kind of stream remember it then struck here yeah, we'll kind of stream guys with my bro what's up okay it increase the then the little bit maybe this one is then we will this much and we'll collapse it like struck here then we need to try this ffd right where is it yep and this mode fair then wait more this okay Should be opposite. Okay, we can do that later. Okay, I need to check something. I'm going to duplicate this one. Okay, just for a test. Uh, then I will add the bend modifier or this FFT thing should do uh, then take this can <clears throat> can rotate this right yep i think we should uh, add two different type of meshes instead of unreal engine okay a straight one and a completely modified one right Okay, actually I'm planning to paint our texture in this floor, so can you just wear it? Then we will cover these, these gaps, okay? Some wooden planks and everything. Yeah, says trick, yeah, yes, yes. And it. You can actually modify these walls a little bit. I will show you. If I select this vertex, then where is it? Pain deformation. This should be. There was something else. Vertex properties. Or subdivision. <coughs> yeah, this soft selection, right? Yes. Turn this on. Uh, and increase the fall of light yep you can see this blue and green color right you can increase this and if you want you can do this then change the all shapes and everything Okay. 
This looks like something. No, I don't want to see it. Okay. I don't want to do this actually. Anyway. Maybe in the floor we can just reduce the this fall off. Okay, can just do it. And in the other side again. We don't need to <coughs> modify the edges, okay, just in the center. And maybe in the ceilings. Guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Okay, so just use uh, find some random location, then not location, random vertex, then you are good to go. Actually, you can use ZBrush for this. Okay, it will be better. <clears throat> if you use ZBrush to modify these holes, I think this is enough. Now it uh, doesn't look like a uh, plain tunnel, right? Need to save this um This fanatic uh, in Chalk and the stream, so use three days max on office. Okay, I don't understand. Okay, that's it. Maybe you should can add it turbo smooth if you want. Be careful about the police. Okay, come here, turn this off, should be fine now, just okay. We don't need this, okay, just maybe Zero. No, no. Just uh, smoothen this. <coughs> we are good to go. Okay, I am going to delete this one. Maybe we should copy this and delete it. And we will duplicate this one more time. And if I paste this, 
Okay, it's fine, right? Maybe you should move this. I can't. Okay, it's actually fine. We can collapse this. If you want, just uh, select this vertex and turn this soft selection back on. Uh, increase this thing. And then move this inside. Okay. Or you can just keep it like this. Okay, it's fine. Okay, this will be our main tunnel meshes. So, I'm going to model some wooden planks. Groomy, look under the stream. You don't have a profile pic, right? Guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to create another box for the woods. Okay. It's like this. Then uh, this material. <coughs> In here. And we'll check this size. can place it here okay nope need to increase the height And convert this into a pulley. Move this up. Then we can duplicate this one. Okay, it's like this. And rotate it. Okay, it's like this is, and we'll duplicate this one one more time. Maybe you can duplicate one more time. Yep. Can place it like this inside engine. Maybe we should turn this size of this one like this. Okay, don't need this one. We only need these two. I'm going to select these edges. Then we will chamfer it. Okay, same thing for Okay Okay 
will save a copy Acharya welcome to the stream thanks for joining the stream maybe I am going to sorry we need to replicate this one to make one more plan okay with the maybe a smaller one like this Digitalized elements are going to say, Yes, nice, 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 okay, yes, right, yeah, okay, anyway, we'll import this one also, okay, I forgot about those items, okay, it's fine, we can just try this this one and the another sorry other one okay okay i think we don't need this one okay we can just use some mesh from mega scans so now we can export everything once we unwrap the uv okay so i'm going to select this one <coughs> and <coughs> add this unwrap uh, modifier open the editor error work into the stream bro thanks for joining the stream Okay, we have this UV. I think we should relax it. Alright. I'm going to well, use this electrical projection in Y direction. Then I will weld these uh, seams by clicking this option see it's gone and if I relax it should be fine wait and we will select this edge again move this same to here maybe wait if I build these together they happened okay okay Okay, okay, wait, we will do something else. Actually, we need to break this, okay. Break this into two. I mean, I'm going to select this. Then break it. Okay. And I will select this one and flip horizontal no we can build these things together right let's see Wait. 
we need to hide this one see right maybe you don't need to flip this one It's been okay. Wait. We can rotate this one. I'll show you face select. Sorry, rotate this. I'm going to place it here. Okay. Then we will build everything. Now we can relax it, right? Hello, I want to know if you will upload this tutorial. So it will say automatically. Don't worry, I'm here working the stream. How many game developers are here? Okay. Thing in it we need to rotate this one more time until we get a straight line, right? Be careful while rotating this, uh, might get crash. Okay, wait, then you can just place it here. Then we will hide it something, okay. Okay. Or we can just place it in the top if you want. It's fine, it uh, will keep it here and relax it. Then we will pack it. You can scale it up if you want. Okay, I think we can copy this movie and paste it in here. Yep, matches right. I'll check. Okay, it's fine. <coughs> now we need to unwrap these two meshes. Before that, we need to save this. Guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Okay. Relax it. 
so we don't need these two these two faces anyway we'll keep it in the side like this same for this mesh add this mode pair time we need to use this best line we will build everything then relax it then we will pack it together Okay, now we can export everything to Unreal Engine. This work in the stream, bro. What's up? What's up? Okay, I'm going to move this to the center. then export export selector desktop new folder some more tunnel right okay make sure you check this smoothing grooves and leave everything to default and then okay same just rename to two need to change the pivot for these meshes and place it here then export it as some wood and on Marnish, right? Let's put then rename to and <clears throat> I'll save multiple times okay then open the engine we will post this one so we have three different mesh no no four right So we can still make this bulb and this tracks right okay we will and what is this okay this trolley right that thing 
yes okay we don't need it we can find this rocks and a small item from the items from the mega scan so doesn't matter okay here i'm going to open our uh, last project one more time No TLS, sorry. Okay, I'll show you our last project one more time. Okay, this is the last one. Okay, I'm going to create a new level, a basic one. And I'm going to use default report then create a new folder inside the content folder called trimming that is it okay and we will create few folders maps meshes textures and materials so yeah share some lumen tips more i never tried actually this lumen thing okay anyway i'm going to i bought these four meshes Okay, leave everything default and import all. <coughs> okay, here I think we don't need this floor. Some template now. Anyway, we'll this will be our channel okay we will place it in the center okay should be the center right okay. Satik, welcome to stream. Hi. Uh, it's random start time. Random start time for game start. I don't understand. Okay. Okay, here I'm going to duplicate this mesh. Okay, which we need to place it here. And we'll duplicate it. Then replace this duplication with our another tunnel okay and we will and we will place this modern meshes and duplicate and we'll move it here then replace with another root and duplicate few more times maybe if you want
ओके ओके इस तरह वे तो सब द गेम इन द मॉर्निंग नून और नाइट सो वी नीड टू चेक द सॉरी सेट द टाइम इन द गेम आई डोंट नो एक्चुअली हाउ टू डू दैट लेट्स सी दिस मैप पास चैनल ओके Okay, you can maybe hopefully get this some more time. And you should use this one then transform to a direction. Okay. And we sit here. and we will duplicate all these meshes okay group it first then duplicate to here to us around here right okay okay guys Okay. Maybe we should replicate this mesh one more time to avoid the uh, entrance from my side. Okay, I'm going to rotate this one. Yeah, looks like this. Can you can change this gizmo direction to local? I think this is yes. So see. Okay, it's like that. Okay, you need to replicate this thing one more time. I'll rotate it. And place it here. Okay. Okay, to avoid the repetition this of this mesh, I'm going to save everything first and unlock. I will remove this one. Or this one. Okay, no, no. I need to remove this one. Then move this down. Then rotate this up. Okay. No. Just two meshes. Okay. Uh, get the sim local three on the top is too much. Yeah, okay, it's fine. I think we're okay. We'll see. Terra Fox Silk Industry. Um, yes, you could make a spline for the tunnel. Yes, that's another. Thing. Actually, we need to. Create a blueprint for that. Save before it crashes. Yes, I did. Don't scare me, bro. 
okay now we need to work on the materials right and the sunlight sorry directional light we need to decrease the intensity and okay we'll do that for now then I'm going to open this mixer. Digital oven, these plank meshes are too perfect in shape. Okay, we'll, okay, we'll see, bro. We'll uh, use the mega scan assets. Okay. Right, or we can use a material. Okay, okay, but still there is a limit, right? Okay, we need some rock, or stone, and mud, right? Forest, no sand, gravel. No, we don't need gravel. Construction, no stone. You need to check only tiles and perfection. For bit pass on the tree wood. So <coughs> we'll try this one. <laughs> now we will create our, our own materials okay uh, i think oh the stream will end very soon okay, i don't need this one i think alex thanks for the discussion i can just stream bro Actually, we can end the, uh, sorry, use the materials from the bridge if you want, or we can just create our own. Okay, after importing all these textures. Okay, I'm going to just look for the uh, some not stone actually, it should be a rock. see no not more we'll see jag clips maybe check the picture it's actually on cliff right some sandstone no 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 maybe something like this okay or mandro cliff thing this one or the another one okay. and we will try one of this no nope. okay this some I don't know. Maybe we can mix with this. Excavated. Okay. I think this will work. Okay, I'm gonna try this one, okay? Hello, Sage of Blitz, sorry, Sag of Blitz, sorry. Go to the stream. Okay, 
Why did I read this? Um... I think this we can use this one, right? Yes. Maybe we should add a little bit a rock. Maybe some Romans rock. Nope. It's wait, maybe can use coastal drop. No, no, it's a layered rock. Uh, we don't need it. I can change the color. And yep, this will do, I think. And if I change from above, can you stylize kicks from against skin or alter the appearance? You have to stylize. I can't do it. I I don't know bro how to do that is Pillow is fine Maybe you should use the I think this will do <coughs> and we should change the color uh -huh. okay then we'll use this pick underlying option so it will match so we can just it's a different color see okay i'm going to export this one maybe change the roughness for the sun yes sir. okay we will change the roughness on the floor okay we don't need for this okay I'll, i'm gonna export this as t wall We'll, okay, we don't need this. Uh, you can export this displacement if you want, but the oh, PC will performance will be very low if you use this uh, displacement. The My project I can stream bro. What is that? I don't know. Okay, we will import 
the textures then we'll create a material called base t save it open it uh, same process we did for our last project okay convert to parameter call it b connect to base color and connect this roughness connect to parameter call it r and connect to roughness okay for the roughness we need to multiply then use the scale parameter hold on s and m okay all this rough and connect to this one then this normal thing we need to look the channel i'm not sure about this then place it here <coughs> convert to parameter and then connect to normal then hold on u for this code needs then this bar truck back in the stream thanks for the question bro okay something went wrong right okay we'll see less normal okay here we need to multiply then this is scale parameter for the uv scale and it will be one and we will connect to two I think sort of please thanks for the question I think me what is this they mean wrong why is only a red channel connected for the normal map okay bro sorry sorry my bad that's why it's when uh, it's looking like this sorry for that thanks for the info we need to connect this rgb to normal okay it will be fine okay is easy brief right welcome to stream bro Digismar, thanks for sharing. For sharing. Okay, and one more thing we can do is increase the normal intensity. Multiply. Multiply, right? And I think we can use this. And I. or we can use additional normal map with the, this uh can search for multi blend it's <coughs> normal there is an option Vertex for normal. Actually, there was an option I don't remember. Okay, is this then back normal normal blend? This should be it. No, no, I don't remember, guys. Okay, 
I'm going to use default value to one. So one. See. Now it's look more better. Okay. Then apply. Mega scans pro is mega scans. This texture are from mega scan. Yes, I'm installing so mixture. There is like a six sample pack access. It's free, anyone can install it. Now we will create a material instance from this base material. Okay, let me change I'm going to call it wall and we can scale it to two. Okay, I'm going to keep it one for now. Then we will open the meshes, then use this material instance. Save it. Meshes. Okay, and one more thing we need to do is select this box. I mean this uh, result node. Then come here. Check this two side option. Okay. A rush for under the string you better you say flat and normal okay 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 and we need to change this floor texture okay Maybe we should scale this down. Sorry, scale this to see. Okay, I think it's fine. I think we can change the floor texture. Okay, so it will be sorry, it will look better. No, we need to add one thing that is this stupid uh, post process volume. We don't have it, right? Yes, come here this volume, then this post process volume. Okay, we'll move it there. And the detail panel, we need to check this uh, infinite option. Yeah, this one and we can change the exposure settings this minimum and maximum 0.7 okay okay nice actually we don't need this directional light I think so I'm gonna uncheck so okay now we have only the sunlight sorry skylight right okay, we will shut this off once we paint these floors okay so for the floors we need to find some another texture and before that we need to check these lights okay if i shut this off okay. we still have this x fog right exponential fog i'm going to delete it and maybe we have this okay 
Skate was here. No. Scale it. Twill it. Okay, we'll look at that later. Okay, Billy, uh, Billy, right? Look at the stream. Thanks for question, bro. Okay, we'll delete this line. And then, okay, here, sort texture. I'm going to find some floor texture. Maybe it's this rocky ground. Yes, that should do. And we'll move this here. We don't need these two. Okay, or we can just no. I'm going to use this pick underlying option for the same color. Okay. And then this placement is one. Okay, we need some mud, right? I'm gonna add a mud texture. Uh, for that plaster boundary with a stone. I'm gonna use this texture also. <coughs> Or maybe you should use this one instead of the another one. I think we should try this one, right? This looks much better than the... Or we can just mix these two together. You have total so much. Thank you, Dimuthi, Elkandasri, and thanks for all. Uh, Petrus, and this takes me back to when I used to create a VR simulator just to train my energy in various ways in unity. Elkandasri, bro. Okay, here we need to find some mud, right? Mud. Mud, mud. I think <coughs> uh, I should search for the mud or I, we need to create it okay so try tracks Or we can uh, create a texture rocky soil ground. Oh, I think we should create one okay mud brick cliff rock and soil. Okay, here is it. Then we should create one I can find so rocks right we need to find some soil texture then we can add this uh, water thing right okay some comes with the tire tracks I'm so ill, I'm so Okay, we have this soil thing and there is mud. 
I see a lot of missing detail there. Okay, thanks. Dry soil ground, salty cover. Crack. Soil ground. Then we should use this one. I think we can use this one or this. Yep, or this one. Okay, we'll download this one. Okay, sound loader and okay, maybe and we should change the color. to something. bit dark okay pd factory i like the streaming and the sub but i just want to get this trash okay <laughs> okay not worry stable guys hold on I need to try something. Okay guys, uh, actually we need to, sorry, uh, okay, this one, we need to export this as a base uh, floor texture, then we will export this, okay, then we will export this mud as a different one, thrill the will, Thrill the wheel. I can the stream, bro. Abdullah, I can the stream. Thanks for the stream. Okay. 
Now we'll board this float texture. <coughs> Save them. Flip the channel, green channel. Then the base material. Okay, hold on L for this lerp. Okay. Then right click and search for vertex color. And I can use a okay. I'm gonna use this red color and we'll drop this floor base color. Then convert to parameter always CFB and connect it. A and we will connect the old base texture to B then this one to this base color okay now this for normal map I'm going to go to here and put the parameter and hold on L for this thing, LERP. I will connect this one to A and this one to B. And this red to alpha. This one must be exposed to normal. And this roughness. I'm going to duplicate these two. And we connect this one. And I'm going to rename the scalar parameter to F rough. Okay, then duplicate this lab. then this we will connect to this and a and this base roughness to be this to roughness and okay okay that name bro anyway thanks for subscription we'll connect the red color to alpha and i'm going to duplicate this uh, uv and call this scale parameter to if scale then we will connect with all our new floor text okay and here i will create a group name called four and enter okay so, uh, then we will connect all the textures i mean the new textures okay and to do one by one floor Okay, we need to convert this one to parameter hold F R. We can assign to a okay, okay. group floor. This should be on the floor, right? Okay. Now I'm going to apply it. Then save everything. 
in the post process volume we need more light so introduce point three now we can paint this texture shua shown right welcome to stream hello bro Richie welcome to stream from India where are you from bro okay now we can paint this vertex uh, select the mesh then here we have this mesh paint and change this paint option and then check all this red blue okay keep this red only uh, now we can hold on shift then paint it here okay then in this wall texture change the scaling scale of the floor texture to around 4 floor right sorry floor right Four or eight. Thing is better. Or ten. Okay. Then we will paint. Sorry. Hold on. Shift to paint. Okay, to remove the uh, texture, then paint it without without the shift key. Okay. Now we will now we can paint everywhere, so anywhere you want. Later we can paint this mud if you want. Okay, I need to save everything. Okay, and we will continue the painting. Okay, you can keep a gap in between them if you want for a rating. Doesn't need to be completely flat. You can just okay. this okay. yes. Here we can change the brush size. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. And now I'm going to import this mod. I hate this mod. Okay, maybe you should find another text for the mart. Porting so nice. Or we should use one of these textures. I'm not sure. Yep, it should be fine, I think. Okay. Go to your welcome to stream, bro. Thanks for your stream. Yes, all thanks. Small leaves on the dance. Okay, we need to change the scaling. Okay, I think this should be enough for the mud rate. We need to fail disable this one or this one. And we can change the color to a little bit red. And the mud will be, I don't need this one, I'm going to change the mud color a little bit more now. And the Roughness of the mud like this. Okay, we need to change this color of the roughness. ok 
Okay. Select. I need to change the reference, right? And. Yes. Okay. Okay, I'm going to export this one. Okay, everything's fine. I'm going to call this mud. Put it. I'm asking the real question what do I was trying to import a maze and I could not go in there it's like a bad around it okay go to uh, need to change the collision okay that's why you can't enter the maze uh, go to the sorry open your mesh I mean double click on your mesh then I'll show you if this is your mesh okay open it uh come here in this collision panel here you need to change i mean use this option okay use complex collision as symbol then you can enter okay okay i'm going to import the mart Okay. Okay, then we'll flip it. Where is it? Things are then we'll open the base material one more time. This time same thing. Okay. We need to replicate this slurp and use this mud texture. Okay, convert to parameter and call us in B for mud base color. Okay, connect to this one to B, sorry, A. Then this vertex color, I'm going to use this uh, green one to alpha and this old lerp, I mean the last one we made, I'm going to connect this one to B and we will connect a new lerp to base color, okay, and we will duplicate this one more time and I will import this normal map convert to parameter mn okay then i'm not gonna use this normal intensity setup okay we will connect this into a <coughs> and this no old normal up to b and this green vertex color to alpha then we will connect this one to normal okay sorry we need to arrange everything once we finish okay now we need to replicate this one more time I'm going to drag this roughness, convert to parameter, MR. Then connect this to A. And this green vertex to alpha. And the rolled roughness to B. And now this rough, sorry, lerp to roughness. Okay. Uh, then we will duplicate this UV setup. I'm going to call this 
m scale format okay and we will connect to all of format textures okay i'm using the default roughness value i mean i haven't added this extra roughness setup because i think we don't need it okay mukul work in the string reference bro have you ever used yes bro i have tried a couple of times blender okay thank you so much bro last comment uh, i can't read your read that bro can you type in english okay here i have this smart setup uh, i'm going to select this mesh use this uh, mesh paint okay then change it to paint this time we need this green channel so uncheck red and blue and check green and here i will hold on shift then i will Uh, paint it then and this here we need to change the values this scale I'm gonna change to 4 for the mud or 2 no no I'll try six okay we'll see okay we don't need this mud here i'm going to paint it in this section Okay, in random places like this. Uh, we can see the um, roughness, right? Maybe because of scalability okay i need to add this uh, point light and <coughs> move this up okay here we need to change the roughness for this floor okay main roughness value floor roughness to point it no point maybe two okay this mud doesn't look right And this whole text okay hold on floor mm -hmm. this roughness one right should be two and the floor roughness one that should be one floor roughness should be 
स्मार्ट लेसन लुक सो गुड ओके अमित मे बी वी नीड टू change the size or we need to replace this there is a time skill three or we need to change the color right you keep it Yes, you need to change the color. This little bit dark. I'm going to use this sphere reflection. I don't have it. Ah, uh, we have geometry visual effects. Book sphere reflection. I'll place it here. And reduce the light radius. and the intensity to two and before okay you need to change the color of this texture it's too dark okay i'm going to reset the color of all this textures we have okay we have these four texture <laughs> okay here i'm going to use pick underline and and this one okay okay we'll try this texture export that's okay also we are currently learning if you miss all doing a force type level as a base game and eventually travel soldiers etc sdt sort will get the same row Thanks, sir. I'm going to bed. Two a.m. Peace. Okay, bro. Where are you from? Go to bro. That is. Uh, can you type in English, bro? I can read it. Hey, we need to change the mod. Notes looking fine, I think. Need to change the. Okay, now it's matching with our, almost matching, right? Okay, we need to paint the rest of these marks. This is size. Order. Select the mesh. Change the mode. Okay, so it's fine. And change the size a little bit. Okay. 
que es random lo que es Slivy Ken Add custom reference um, this material actually we didn't do it right like this I'm gonna duplicate this reference set up here uh, this one will be mud roughness OM and default value one we'll connect it to this multiply then then to a okay i'm going to duplicate the same thing and okay i don't need to duplicate actually we do okay this will be for I am normal okay for mud normal map intensity I'm gonna connect it to this and it is connected here so we'll connect it to A okay we can duplicate this normal settings and place for place it for this floor normal intensity and connect to a okay this should be floor this one is going to be mud okay you can make the group so it will be easy to or uh, change the values inside this uh, material instance yeah this one will be in the floor this one will be in the mud joseph uh thanks for the subscription look into the stream mud this floor it should be mud so also should be in the mud and this scale UV scale also in the mud okay now we can apply it yeah bro we need to change the light and everything okay now this material these are the global settings these are for the uh, floor setup okay and these are for the mud right so mud should be 0.5 okay and we need to change the mud scaling to four maybe four will be better yes okay now we can change the floor normal intensity right if we change it to three wait you need to save everything three till we sharp right yep and the uh, mud normal to three yep. and also the walls and I to four maybe now four is little bit high three so okay 
I'm going to move this light to here. Okay, that's dark. And change the intensity to 4 maybe. Or 3. And the color to some not blue orange is fine I think orange or yellow or a little bit you can actually you can add a uh, bulb mesh and some wires and everything okay or you can <coughs> make this scene little bit so dark like some like this outlaw scene make a thing uh, dark green okay tell me I can't see anything but We will go back to the orange. Okay. Then this volumetric scattering intensity. Four. and we have this stupid four right okay you don't have it okay in this uh, visual effects we can uh, toggle this window in here okay this window check this um, place axis okay make sure this is on for this thing then we can Press this fork. Janice, uh, welcome to the stream. Thanks for the fiction. Okay. Fork density 0 0.02. And the color are. And can enable this volumetry fold. Okay. Okay, if I change this to mobile, thing will become okay. One light is here, and the other one should be here, right? And we can reduce the intensity for this one to one maybe. No. no. Three. 
place you know maybe this one to two Okay, a little bit dark in there. We'll keep it like this. <coughs> okay, no, that is okay. Actually, we need to text all these things, right? Okay, I'm going to uh, find the wood texture, or we can. find it online or we can just import custom i mean mega sorry i mean mega scans items we'll see it will be okay i'm gonna use this one bro white bro can you type in english bro i can't read it uh, is 3D, welcome to stream, pass, guys, uh, it will be great if you guys type in English, okay, uh, stream, get so far, was still not related to cave, but if you had to create a city, would you use a plugin or buy a set from the Epic Store, okay, if I am rich, I will buy from Epic Store, Time is everything. You can save time from uh, if you buy these assets, right? Yeah, I will buy broken, but because, sorry, because it will take some time to <coughs> model all those buildings, you know. And we need to rotate this thing to nice like this. Nice and okay, you can use this color right. Okay, and I will export to Unreal Engine. Okay, then we will import it. I'm going to use the same texture we just sorry material we just made. Or we can it will he bought something from this bridge. I search for wood. Surfaces, I'm gonna search for wood again. Uh, we can't find what brands. Yes, this um, same texture, right? 
You have just downloaded this one, so it'll be nice. It's so you can just export to engine. Okay, it will be here somewhere. Okay, I'm going to uh, open the mesh and we will apply this material. This one, okay. We think we need to rotate the UV or the mesh. I'll see meshes. Then we need to rotate that material tiling offset rotation as you can rotate it to. 90 right it's not rotating and we do normal I need to rotate to forty five okay I think we can just replace the textures we just uh, important right this one this one rpd what the fuck Okay, rotation angle spoken. Okay, let me check. Oh shit, I need to. Are you sure? Then I need to replace. Okay, tough. Anyway, zero point two two point two two. Yeah, that's nice. We need to find this. Okay, nice. Mm. Yeah. Okay, thanks, bro. Max. Max specs. Look in the stream. And I think we need to change the scale, right? Uh, I don't know. Tiling offset. This is how tiling works. Nice. Okay. Don't 
styling offset okay we can keep it like this yep Save everything. Then we change this scalability to high. Should be fine. Okay, we can change to a little bit more dark and the fog to extra dark or Guys, we can add some. Okay, how this 3D assets? I'm gonna search for some rocks, then we will place it. Small stone. we need some beach rock no no beach rock gemstone maybe we can use this one or this one this sun okay I'm gonna download this then add it to be <coughs> Trash can, small rock here. Okay, it's uh, actually extra small, right? And let's fill this up. It's so, so dark. Okay. Ok, 
you can place on a random box here and there i'm gonna add this one also this sir this won't match with our uh, scene actually okay but this one will look this is fine can just replicate this row and rotate it here and move it Yeah, then scale it if you want. And you can just find find a few more uh, rocks like this. And we can paint inside the tunnel if you want. Okay, okay, we don't need this one. Oh, shit. Yes, this is. Can use this one, right? Yep. It won't match with our scene, I think. I'm gonna try this one. This is sandstone. Okay, this will match. Actually, we can change the color. Okay. Okay, we can change the color and match with our uh, scene. And change the reference here. can rotate it more And we can duplicate this one 
and place it on the top if you want. This and match it to scene anyway. We don't need to keep it there. Okay. Okay, maybe one more thing. No, it's enough. You can actually download more of these rocks then place it wherever you want. Anyway, I'm gonna stop it here. So, guys, uh, that's it for our channel. Okay, I think I need to check something. I'm going to open this mesh and change the collision then save it and if I click play okay can go to, okay, to change the collection of this mesh also to complex okay then change the intensity to 4 and the color to the same then we can change it to cinematic if you want Okay, nice right. Okay. Okay, I think that's it guys. Maybe we can just uh, change the settings in post to post process volume. Room. Maybe a little bit saturation one okay one point zero two maybe. contrast also one I think that's it, right? Can change the color of this light. What the? OK. 
Okay. <lacht> I think that's it. Maybe we can just add some particles in here. Mm. Maybe some ambient redness. can see we should move this to the inside and Can you just keep this color? And we can paint this. mud here right okay Man, that one looks nice so far. And Gencha Farmer, welcome to the stream. Thanks for the stream, bro. Guys, thanks for the 100 likes. And if you want, we can just play this thing here or here. Okay, yep. you can place on here, right? This rock, and it uh, we can we can still add on. Sorry, we add a track, and that's it, right? Maybe some takes in the materials and maybe this fits team. Okay, you can change the color right up on the steam and the color of life. And change it to some ah, nice. Change it to some green, yellow, or blue. Some toxic smoke, something like that. No, no. <laughs> Can we increase the size? Yep. And it doesn't look good anyway. I don't need it. Maybe this fire. Nope. I don't need the fire also. 
Spuk. Guys, nice, don't ask where this is coming from. Okay, just happens. I'm off main, love the detail, and I will be sure to look up the finished product. Thanks for watching, sir. <laughs> okay. Man, what species pick uh, my SP? Uh, you can find this. My sorry, species pick in the description below. You can find it there. You can still add more details like this uh, wires and the real bulb, then the tracks. Okay, then maybe some skeletons here and there. And this and then sorry and then some cobwebs etc etc okay <clears throat> no, I don't need it. So guys, uh that's it. Uh you can try this. To find an angle, this will be better, or this one. Okay, okay that's it for our channel, guys. Uh, thank you, thanks, bro. Acharya, thanks, SDT, thanks, and again, for my thanks. Everyone again, thanks for joining the stream guys, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Okay, I need to take a walk in the tunnel. Okay, we need, can change the camera to FPP, right? Should be in the characters. Animations or the blueprints. This will be third person, yes. Okay, if I place this. Actually, we can uh, lock this camera to our head. There was an option. I don't remember any if anyone know it. Just tell me, okay? There was something. Use pawn control. If this camera can be placed on a pawn. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna come back to see it. I'm gonna try this in FPP. Okay, nice.
so guys that's it if you guys want to ask something just ask okay jamie thanks bro thanks for the stream and we can add some sounds okay i don't have any sounds okay i'm gonna post this some um, i hope you guys have learned something from today's tutorial so if you want to ask something just come on down and we'll change to tpp one more time okay if i play it okay make camera it's a little bit off it's okay okay snow play uh thanks for the subscription bro welcome to the stream okay hrashikesh work in the stream bro uh did you import textures from another software or or sets textured and until uh, actually, I our imported textures from this Kixel uh, mixture. Save free software. You can download it. Okay. Okay. I need to try one more thing. This highlight. Okay. Fine change we uh intensity to two it happens and i need to try this map okay And change the intensity back to one and the light color should be some yellow or red reddish okay okay mm. Okay, then Oh, maybe clear screen nope this looks better right canada ambient map change it to stationary or static it happens if i disable it see you can't see the ambient light here but now you can see right uh, you can change the intensity to and color back to white maybe a little bit okay <clears throat> now we can just go for this captured scene thing and the reflection capture see right what okay 
can change the cube map right we change to daily what happens okay change to okay i'll keep it 30 fold that will be better So guys, that was our channel. Uh, you can go digitalize the means Thanks for to do landscape displacement with caution. Yeah, and real engine five should uh, detect this uh, displacement automatic. landscapes uh, comes with this automatic sorry default portion bro you don't need to change whatever uh, things you i mean the normal maps you create with this landscape till you find they remove displacement and translation in five but i cannot find any replacement No, you can find this translation instead of material. Check. Okay, they removed, right? don't have translation okay weird position of some, but uh, you can use this one bro this uh, weird position of set right you can uh, connect the displacement maps to this one I think or another way is to you have to add all the details inside this uh, landscape you know you want to sculpt like if a player rocket texture material to landscape there is, there does not seem to be a way to make the rope 3d instead of a flat no no you have to add a different mesh for the rocks and everything there is a limit bro, uh, limit bro actually to look like a flat okay you have to add a different mesh for the rocks okay like this one okay yeah uh, because or you can just uh, make a I mean the sculpt uh, rock like thing inside a landscape then import to Unreal Engine yeah you need to sculpt manually I think when you create you are uh, making custom one right when you uh, create one you have to create uh, some rocks and uh, at least something looking like rocks Uh, you can use uh, this uh, weld creator or uh, the weld machine for this landscape creation so
it will be very helpful so guys again thanks for joining the stream don't forget to like share and subscribe and you can suggest a topic for our next tutorial if you want to see anything or yes if you have any doubts or something we can discuss Did you see it? Do you see what bro? Yeah, we I saw it in Metire. There is no uh, displacement option. I put a link in which for you to see. No, no, link, uh, links will be deleted automatically. Uh, you can comment or comment somewhere maybe in the discord or something discord link is in the description bro you can uh, pay, um, give a link us in the general chat or unreal engine section wherever you want or it uh, just linked in you know, okay you can use sorry so I can increase this normal map intensity like i did here i will show you in a second you can see this details right you can increase the intensity like this see these things these are this doesn't look like flat right you can do that or you can you have to uh, sculpt and uh, detail these landscapes or uh, you have to use static mesh there is no other way i will check this image right now wait <coughs> with the displacement with the displacement Listen, right? This way, so. Did you, if you can, uh, if you're okay with this displacement, then you should try connecting this displacement map to this weird position offset. I think weird position for something else, right? No, no, you can try it. Yeah, I don't looks flat you should try to make a landscape with those guys and yeah um, um can you Can you try to this well position of set? I'm not sure what that like from a texture displays yes connect to this uh, connect your height map texture to a multiply and use a scalar parameter 
and connect this multiply to word position then the material instance you can change the just the values or uh, or try this word like uh, use this uh, quixel bridge and uh, import a button surface for the ground or the landscape then see uh, open their material to see the setup okay if I open this uh, material from Megascans fuse fuse as of right okay thanks for the question welcome to the stream see if I open this surface material see they have no displacement right see actually they are using this normal strength okay like i said you need to try this normal strength i am not sure about how it will work uh, and work with the landscape this is the parent material okay so the tiling they are using actually they are not using any uh, height maps or displacement okay see they are not using these height maps <laughs> oh, let me check one more time maybe let me see uh, bin occlusion with position C okay. uh, oh, wait a second a second eh? okay guys so see they were not using any height maps here like you can see this well position of set they are not caught try this setup or like see they are not using any should try their materials or something so guys uh, that's it for today everyone thanks for joining the stream thanks for the likes and support so guys everyone again thanks for joining the stream don't forget to like share and subscribe that's it for our today's tutorial if you want to suggest something for our next tutorial you can comment somewhere okay in discord or in youtube we'll try to do it uh, and thanks for the 110 likes and we will i'm gonna close the stream now and we will see you on friday okay friday it's something else so guys see you bye bye take care and digitalize the elements you should try that uh, normal intensity is the i'm not sure about it for the landscape anyway you should try so guys bye bye take care Go, go, go.